My name's Bob Holloway. We're in Mingo, Kansas. Beginning farmer, I'm 35 years old. Um, uh, my wife and I, we own a little bit of property. We're small farmers compared to most other farmers in the area. Some of the conditions that we face in western Kansas are drought, high winds, high dry winds, low humidities, and that can vary from year to year. There can be some wet years like we've, we've experienced this spring with wet conditions, um, but traditionally it's, it's a hot, dry climate in the summer times, temperatures average in the mid to upper 90s, uh, sometimes the low 100s are not uncommon, um, causes a great amount, great amount of evaporation from, from these fields that are being irrigated. The crops, mainly corn, wheat, soybeans. We, we're not totally all uh, no-till, we, we're minimum till, we strip till to apply our fertilizer for corn. And then we don't touch it, you know, we plant right into the strip till row. So that's a minimum tillage application. The applicator heads for the irrigation. How did I choose those? Um, doing research online, trying to figure out something different than what we were currently using. It just was not that effective on our low gallon wells. We're, we're trying to grow full circles on low gallons, which is a challenge. And walking the fields after the, the pivot went around and we're only wetting, you know, in top inch of the soil and you know, a week and a half later, it's completely dry and hard. There's just something, something has to be different. We have to do something different. And that's when I started doing a little research on the Sinninger bubblers. And I saw that there was technology introduced back in the 80s. And so I went into my local uh, Sinninger dealer, Wolfter Construction Irrigation. And he said, well, yeah, that technology and that quadra spray is there, it's still available but they have something that's probably even better. And uh, so we looked at the, the UP3, the bubbler setup, and I just flat out asked Galen, I mean, is this, is this something that is gonna work? I mean, this gonna make us money and allow us to continue farming and irrigating? And he said, yeah, this is the latest and greatest thing. So I went with it. We figured out what we were needing to do, as far as spacing, got the components, installed it, after that first year, completely sold on, on the bubbler pads. Just the health of the crop and watching the water hit the ground, the soil surface, and disappearing, um, I knew that good things were happening. Since we were not wetting the, the leaves of the plant, we didn't have all the evaporation, and also not wetting the entire soil surface. I mean is a no-brainer for, for anybody that can see that the water's getting into the ground, the root zone, where it needs to be. It makes more, made more sense to me to, to invest in the technology that's going to allow us to continue to, to uh, grow full circles. Well, I, well, we're using the same amount of water. It's around 260 gallons, but it's, it's being used so much more effectively. It's not, I don't see it as being really more efficient, but it, it's more effective. And that's what you want. You want, you want to use your money, invest your money in something that's going to be effective. You can see it with your own eyes. So it makes a lot of sense.